Around 2,000 cattlemen and women from across the country made the trip to Indianapolis for the 2016 Angus Convention. RFD TV's Janet Atkinson reports from Indianapolis. Well, just like any segment of the agriculture industry, the beef business gets better with technology, and DNA is one of those things they're putting to use in the beef business and improving herds. Now, we are joined by Kent Anderson. He is with Zoetis and serves as a strategic account manager. Uh, let's talk a bit about DNA information and what role it plays in improving the beef herd. I'd say it's impacting the beef herd in two ways. Commercial cow-calf producers are now buying bulls based on genomic enhanced EPDs, and they're also then using technology to help inform the replacement heifer enterprise. So taking all that into account, how can the selection and management decisions influence, of course, the profitability in the herds for years to come? Well, of course, genetic decisions have long-term impact because the calves and the daughters of given bulls, as well as selected replacement heifers, leave a legacy of cows that uh, impact the herd for many years over time. Well, moving forward, how about the genomic tools like GeneMax? I understand that's something that's available through Zoetis. Tell us a little more about it. It is. We've taken what we've learned after testing Angus seed stock and built a set of tools for commercial cow-calf producers to inform the selection decision of heifers, to inform the decision as to what we breed them to throughout their lifetime, and now more and more we're also using that bull battery and heifer information to inform price discovery for feeder cattle. Well, it's still a reasonably new tool in the arsenal for beef producers. Where do you see this technology going in the future? Well, I see expanded purchasing of good Angus bulls with genomic enhanced EPDs coupled with replacement heifer selection and breeding to inform future bull buying from the GeneMax product. But more and more in the future, I think the genetic information on the bulls and the females is going to be used to inform post weaning performance and carcass merit of the steer mates. And even though they aren't uh, tested, uh, because of what we know about their heifer mates and the bull battery, we can um, put marketing legs under those calves that are out of superior genetics for growth, feed conversion, and CAB carcass merit. Right. Well, if folks wanted to learn more, how could they do so? Um, there's a variety of ways. Obviously, information about the Zoetis tools applied to Angus are available on the American Angus Association website. And they also can go to gmaxadvantage.com or hdi50k.com or the Zoetis Gen Genetics website. Well, Kent, thank you very much for sharing that information with us. We appreciate it. Again, Kent is a strategic account manager with Zoetis. Now, I mentioned that you can find some of the information that they've used in the Angus herd online, and you can go online to angus.org. Also, you can check out Certified Angus Beef, cabpartners.com. On the road in Indianapolis, I'm Janet Atkinson, RFD TV News. Thank you, Janet. We will have additional reports from the 2016 Angus Convention right here on Market Day Report and tonight on your Rural Evening News.